नमस्ते एवरीवन होप ऑल ऑफ यू वेल एक्चुअली इन द थर्मोडायनामिक्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड अवर सेवन लेक्चर्स दिस इज अवर एट लेक्चर लेक्चर नंबर एट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव टॉक अबाउट द इंथेरेपीज फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रिएक्शंस इन व्हिच आई हैव जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट फॉर द कंबशन रिएक्शन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल गो थ्रू द इंथेरेपी ऑफ एटोमाइजेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड नो व्हाट इज दिस इंथेरेपी ऑफ एटोमाइजेशन have you heard the word atomicity if you have heard the word atomicity then you can understand any element which exists in the nature in the forms of the combinations of atom is called as atomicity as for example if i talk about chlorine chlorine atomization atomization or atomicity is 2 right and if i talk about sulfur sulfur atomicity will be 8 oxygen 2 so similarly when the elements exist in the form of different different number of atoms similarly if i talked about the enthalpy how much amount of energy is required to remove those atomicity into the atoms that's called atomization if i talk about the atomization then i hope that all of you have heard the word that in the case of molecules when the two atoms are there and i have to separate them into the atoms like oxygen hydrogen many more atoms which are having in the diatomic molecules uh, whose atomicity value is 2 and i am separating that molecules into the atoms so whatever the enthalpy as required is called enthalpy of atomization as for example if i talk about the hydrogen gas you can see here hydrogen gas h2 in the reaction of hydrogen hydrogen will convert into 2h means here i am separating hydrogen hydrogen so the value of atomization here the enthalpy of atomization is 435 kJ per mole means if i separate the hydrogen gas into hydrogen atom atom the enthalpy of atomization required to separate this hydrogen hydrogen atom is 435 kJ Have you understand the concept? What is enthalpy of atomization? Enthalpy of atomization also discuss about that how these molecules are being separated into the atoms. I mean, they are in the form of compounds. They are in the form of gaseous atoms. They are in the form of solid atoms. They are converted into the gaseous. They are into the gaseous atoms. They are in the form of compound. They are forming the molecules, and you are separating into the atoms. so whatever the amount of enthalpy or whatever the amount of energy is required to separate them into atom into atom is called enthalpy of atomization hope all of you are understanding what i mean to say that is enthalpy of atomization means you are just separating a compound into atom into means atoms atom as for example if i talk about methane just suppose if i talk about methane then in methane you know here there are total four hydrogen and one carbon if i separate this then it will be one carbon and four hydrogen atom to separate this one carbon and four hydrogen atom i require 108.4 kJ sorry 1665 kJ per mole means for to separate to one methane molecule one methane molecule means all the carbon and hydrogen atoms if i separate if i just separate all the four hydrogen atoms atom 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 and carbon one atom if i separate all these atoms from methane then i have to require 1665 kJ similarly if i talk about the sodium you know very well sodium is in solid form if i have to convert this sodium into the gaseous to convert the sodium solid molecules to the sodium gaseous sodium solid element or atom to sodium gaseous atom the atomization will be 108.4 kJ so you have to just understand the concept what concept concept in the sense of i am talking about that if you want to change any molecule into atoms 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 so the amount of energy required is called enthalpy of atomization now second thing if you may have heard about these all the things uh, the enthalpy of atomization the enthalpy of sublimation the enthalpy of phase formation from solid to liquid liquid to gases many things you may have heard but i just want to confirm you 
when these atoms are formed into a bond. Now, just suppose here the enthalpy of atomization, you must get an idea in your mind that, sir, are you talking about the bond enthalpies or you are breaking the bond or you are joining the bond or whatever the atoms are there, you are separating all these atoms. So similarly, there is one more topic that is called bond enthalpy. If I talk about the bond enthalpy, what is bond enthalpy? The energy required to break or the energy required to make a bond. To make a bond, to break a bond or when you are making a bond, the energy which is released, that is called bond enthalpy. It is denoted by delta H bond and this is the symbol of Stabilization or standard bond enthalpy. As I have already taught you, what is the standard? Standard bond enthalpy is nothing else than the standard temperature and pressure. Whenever I talk about the standard enthalpy, remember there is only one condition at standard temperature and pressure. So as you have seen here about the bond enthalpy, if I talk about in any chemical reaction, you may have seen if any displacement is made, that is because of bond enthalpy. If there is double displacement, that is also because of bond. If there is a combination reaction, now when two elements have been combined formed, as here it is written also, the energy is released when a bond is formed, that is also called a bond enthalpy. So you should not be very much worried about this. In chemical bonding, you may have heard about the ionic bond, covalent bond, dative bond, after then uh, metallic bond, Corinot, hydrogen, and many more bonds, whatever the six type of bonds are that you may have heard about it. Now I'm talking about except this bond. Now bond enthalpy in the third chapter, that's uh, chemical bonding and the properties. We have discussed about this bond enthalpy. If you have remembered then, if in this thermodynamics, there are two types of this bond enthalpy. First one is bond dissociation enthalpy. What is the meaning of dissociation? means breaking, bond dissociation, bond. and second one is mean bond enthalpy. There are so many bonds, means just a, no, it is not diatomic, it is a polyatomic molecule, and you are breaking this polyatomic molecule, so that time we have to use this mean bond enthalpy. Just suppose in this reaction, so if I talk about the bond dissociation enthalpy, bond dissociation enthalpy means you are breaking the bond, the energy required to break the bond, is called bond dissociation enthalpy and any molecule you can take any diatomic, any triatomic, any tetraatomic, whatever the atoms are there to break this bonds. So whatever the energy is required to break that bond, uh, as for example if I talk about the hydrogen only, so you have seen that hydrogen, so hydrogen, hydrogen if I talk about then the amount of energy required to dissociate the hydrogen hydrogen bond. That is, here the uh, atomization, enthalpy of atomization, same energy will be of enthalpy of bond dissociation. Here you can see the diatomic molecules. Some of the diatomics I have represented on the board. You can see for breaking or for dissociating the hydrogen molecules into the hydrogen atoms. You can see here hydrogen and here hydrogen, hydrogen atoms. This is nothing else, it's a bond dissociation enthalpy to break hydrogen into HHI require 435 kilojoules per moment. It is the amount of energy to bond dissociate of hydrogen atom. Similarly, chlorine, if I talk about to dissociate chlorine, chlorine I require 242 kilojoules per mole. Similarly, if I talk about the oxygen, see you can see here all the enthalpies, whatever the energy, the enthalpy change involved in this process about uh, you have to just remember that these all the atoms are in the gaseous state and to dissociate in gaseous gases whatever the amount of energy is required is called that bond dissociation enthalpy in the diatomic molecules as I have said you hydrogen, hydrogen require 435 kilojoules per mole chlorine Chlorine and in the chlorine, chlorine it requires 242 kilojoule per mole in oxygen. Oxygen, oxygen bond dissociation energy requires 428 kilojoule per mole. In the case, if I talk about all the atomization and uh, this bond enthalpy dissociation, so here you can see the same amount 
and here also you can see the same amount. Means here you can see the enthalpy of atomization in the hydrogen and the enthalpy of dissociation in the hydrogen. Both the energy are same. If both the energy are same, then what do you think? That uh, is atomization enthalpy and bond dissociation enthalpy C. You may have a question in your mind that, sir, here if both the energy are in the same, but here I have break into the atoms and atoms. Here I have not talked about it is the same atom or different atom. Here I have just talked about to break the bond. Yeah, here also we have done the same process. Here hydrogen, hydrogen we have just dissociated only. So it is known as the atomization enthalpy and here it is known as bond enthalpy. Remember the word, if you get the result same, then same amount of energy is going to require or evolve, but if you get the different result, then that time you will get different, different amount of energy. Second, now after understanding the concept of this diatomic molecules, we'll move towards the polyatomic molecules. Now here, in the polyatomic molecules, we have to consider, just you can see this methane atom. Methane atom, if you dissociate the methane, it converts into carbon plus four hydrogen. And to dissociate this carbon plus four hydrogen, we require 1665 kilojoule per mole. So here you can see the bond in or you can say that it is uh, atomization, enthalpy of atomization into the methane at 1665, as already I have written here also. No question, sir, so that was enthalpy of atomization. Let's talk about the bond dissociate. How do bond dissociate? Which is that? First of all, in methane, all the four hydrogen atoms do not dissociate at once. It goes into the several steps. As you can see here, first of all, that methane gaseous converts into methane plus hydrogen. Means CH4 converts into CH3 plus H. Again, CH3 converts into CH2 plus S. Again, CH2 converts into CH plus H. Again, CH converts into C plus H. Now, there are total four steps. First step, second step, third step, and fourth step. So there are total four steps. You can see in this four step how the bond dissociation is. Since it is a polyatomic molecules, it is not diatomic molecules. It is polyatomic molecules. So for polyatomic molecules, you have seen that how this methane has converted into C plus H and in each and every step you have to count, you have to show that what is the bond dissociation enthalpy. So in the first step, when the methane has converted into methyl and hydrogen, that time the bond dissociation enthalpy is 427 kilojoules per mole. It is in the positive, as you must remember, endothermic reaction. So here, 427 kilojoules per mole. No. So in the second step, when methyl has converted into CH2 and H, it requires bond dissociation 439 kilojoule per mole. How much? 439 kilojoule per mole. In the third step, CH2 has converted to CH plus H. In that, bond dissociation in phase is 452 kilojoule per mole. In the third step. And in the fourth step, when CH has been separated into C plus H, that time it requires 347 kilojoule per mole. Now you have seen in this all the four steps. CH4 to C plus H means in the first step, CH3 plus H, second step, CH2 plus H, third step, CH2 is equal to CH plus H, and fourth step, C plus H. All these are in the gaseous state. Remember the word. The bond dissociation in talc is possible only and only in the gaseous state. So here, as we have seen, all the four state, if I calculate, just remember, if I want to calculate all these four, it's 9 plus 7, 7 plus 9, 16, 2, 18, 18 plus 7, 25, 2 remaining, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 3, 7, 7 plus 5, 12, 12 plus 4, 16, 1 carry, 4 plus 4, 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 3, 15 plus 1, 16. So total, if you do the two, therefore, CH4 is going to C plus 4 HG is 
1665 kilojoule per moon. As you can see here in the bond, atomization enthalpy is also here written. The enthalpy of atomization of methane, C plus 4G, is 1665 kilojoule per moon. Similarly, the 4D atomic molecules, the bond dissociation enthalpy is also the sum of all these steps, 1665 kilojoule per moon. But here we are talking about the mean bond enthalpy. The first one was bond dissociation enthalpy, but since it is a polyatomic molecules, so that's why we talk about the mean bond enthalpy. In the mean bond enthalpy, what there are total four steps. Whatever the amount of energy we have got, we divide with the four. So here you can see the mean bond enthalpy. Mean bond enthalpy of this atomization C S bond is one by four of total total bond dissociation enthalpy means if i talk about the mean bond enthalpy of methane ch per ch bond so here you can see 1 by 4 delta h atomization standard delta h atomization that is 1 by 4 into 1665 kilojoule per mole the total amount is 416 kilojoule per mole so remember the words what i mean to say i mean to say is whenever we want to dissociate dissociate means breaking we are breaking the term either in the bond dissociation enthalpy or mean bond enthalpy either it is a diatomic or it is a polyatomic you are breaking the bonds whenever in the diatomics the single single atoms will break but if i talk about the mean bond enthalpy in the mean bond enthalpy there are polyatomic molecules in the polyatomic molecules they will break into the step by step as we have seen in this methane how this methane has break into the four steps and we have calculated the mean bond enthalpy that is delta ch 1 by 4 into delta h a so this was our mean bond enthalpy or you can say that is a bond enthalpy style bond first one was the bond dissociation enthalpy and second one was only in the in the bond dissociation enthalpy only here if i talk about the mean bond enthalpy bond dissociation so we have not done anything else we have just calculated and we have done the mean right we have find here carbon hydrogen enthalpy of methane is 416 kilojoule per mole similarly if you want to find about the different different things like uh, uh, if i talk about ch3 okay from the ch3 you can see the three step so you have to add the two one by three and divide that step so similarly whatever the atoms and molecules you are getting either if i talk about the methyl methane chlorine methyl nitride so here it does not differ whatever the enthalpies you are getting it does not differ it is a great d uh, which using the Hess law as remember if you remember the Hess law in the previous lecture in the lecture number seven I have talked about the Hess law also in the Hess law I have shown you that either you can go through the one step or several step you have to just calculate the enthalpy about the several step and one step you both are equal that is called Hess law similarly here also I have done in this polyatomic bond dissociation enthalpies so calculating the bond enthalpies for a single and multiple bonds is not so hard as I have shown you here, it's very easy. Now question is what? In this whole thing, in the whole bond enthalpies, you have to remember a formula that bond enthalpy of reactant minus bond enthalpy of products. Here there will be a formula is bond enthalpy of reactions minus bond enthalpy of products. If you want to write this, I hope that all of you are having NCRT and the NCRT is given only. So delta H R is bond enthalpy reaction, standard bond enthalpy reaction is this is summation means sigma, total sum of bond enthalpies of reactions, bond enthalpy of reactants, reactants minus bond enthalpy of products. See, in that it was in the reaction, bond enthalpy reaction, it was minus opposite, it was right, it was opposite. But here I am talking about that bond enthalpy of reactants minus bond enthalpy of products. So, remember this this relationship is particularly more useful when we require the values of bond enthalpy fusion, right? 
which are the reaction, the amount of energy required to break all the bonds in the reactant molecules minus the amount of energy required to break all the bonds in the product molecules. Remember that is the relationship approximate and valid until the substance reactant and produced are in the gaseous state. One thing you have to always remember. It is not possible to break in the solid state. Have you remembered that ionization potential definition? If you have remembered, then I have said you in the second or first chapter only, the amount of energy required to remove an electron from an isolated gaseous atom whenever you are breaking any molecule, first of all, you have to take that molecule into the gaseous state. Then only it is possible that you can remove an electron or whatever the bond, if you want to break the bond, you want to break the one atom, you have to convert into the fusion. Whatever the process you are doing, first of all, you have to take this thing into the gaseous state. In the solid or liquid state, it's not possible. Yeah, in the liquid state, you can convert into the gaseous vaporization state, and then you can do that other thing. But remember, in solid or liquid state, you can't be associated to the bomb. That is the most important thing. In the chemistry, these things must be in your mind whenever we talk about anything which is very special, that we are dissociating one, so it must be in the gas state. Now our new topic is enthalpy of solution. Have you heard the word enthalpy of solution? So this is our new topic, that is enthalpy of solution. So now our new topic is enthalpy of solution. You know very well what is solution, homogeneous solution, you know. When solute or you can say that the definition of a solution, or you can say it is an example of homogeneous mixture <coughs> when a solute and solvent is in fixed amount, right? Uh, when here in the solution, you know very well solute and solvent are there. But uh, what's about when they dissolve? The amount of heat or amount of energy is required, right? So that is only the enthalpy of solution. The enthalpy of solution of a substance is the enthalpy change when one mole of its solvent, one mole of its solute or one mole of its specific amount of, so one mole of its solute, one mole of its solute, see here, it means solute, remember the word. It has been solute. The enthalpy of a solution of a substance is the enthalpy change when one mole of solute dissolves in a specific amount of solute. One mole of solute dissolves in a specific amount of solute. The word which you have to remember is enthalpy of solution. Enthalpy of solution means the enthalpy change. Enthalpy change when one mole of it dissolves in a specific amount of solvent. One mole of solute is dissolved in specific amount of solvent, the enthalpy chain. That enthalpy is called enthalpy of solution. So here you just uh, take an example. The enthalpy of the solution at infinite dilution. Infinite, okay? At infinite dilution is the enthalpy chain which is observed on dissolving the substance in at infinite amount of solution. The enthalpy of solution at infinite dilution is the enthalpy change observed on this dilution, the substance in an infinite amount of solvent when the interaction between this ion, solute and solvent or solute or molecules are neglected. 
you don't know what is a mole of solid. Just suppose this is water molecules. Got it? I have taken some amount of sugar. I have put some amount of sugar inside it. After that, I have dissolved. Okay. After dissolving this sugar solution, that what I'm saying you, the enthalpy required to change these all. The enthalpy required to change these all. So as I'm talking about the solution, at that time you should remember when the solute dissolves into the solvent, the amount of enthalpy changes. So that is called the enthalpy of solution. Here, <coughs> if you have heard about some of the compounds like uh, covalent compound, ionic compounds, many more compounds you may have heard. <coughs> but uh, especially in the case of ionic compound, just take a sodium chloride crystal and you try to dissolve into the water molecules. What will happen, you know? They will dissociate into the sodium plus and chlorine ion. You don't know, you just directly take a salt, you put into the water, you just take a spoon, stir it for some time. After stirring, you just drink it. That was a salty water, nothing else for you. But for a chemistry student, it understand whenever you put the salt into that solution, now the enthalpy is going to change. The ions are going to break. If the ions are going to break, means now here ionic bond is dissociating. The solution is given to the enthalpy amount to change. So here, when the ionic compound dissolves into the solvent, the ions leave their order positions. You know very well, sodium chloride. If I talk about the sodium chloride structure, as I have shown you also in the previous videos, if you have seen in the ionic compound, I have shown you that one will be positive, another will be negative, another will be positive. Here this will be negative, this will be positive, and here this will be negative. Right? Again here this will be positive, this will be negative, and here this will be positive. Okay? So similarly, here we are going to do just a second. I'm drawing this sodium chloride structure that how one sodium is surrounded with the six chlorine atom and how this another six chlorine atoms is surrounded with one sodium atom. See now, I just want to show you here that how these atoms are surrounded. Here you can see this is a sodium chloride structure, the structure of sodium chloride. Okay? And now here I just want to provide out and here the plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, a plus, minus, here yeah, plus, again here, this step will be minus, this step will be plus, this will be minus. Here in this here plus, minus, plus. Here again minus, plus, plus, uh, minus, sorry. Here plus, minus, plus. Minus, plus, minus. Here plus, minus, plus. So here you can see, if I talk about all these plus, one plus is surrounded by six minus. 
वन प्लस इज सराउंडेड बाई सिक्स माइनस मीन्स टोटल वन सोडियम कैटायन इज सराउंडेड बाय सिक्स क्लोराइड आय ओके सो आई होप नाउ यू हैव अंडरस्टैंड दिस आयनिक स्ट्रक्चर अबाउट दिस सोडियम क्लोराइड सिमिलरली वन क्लोराइड आयन ऑल्सो इज सराउंडेड बाय सिक्स Just a minute. So one chlorine ion is surrounded by six sodium cation. Cl minus is surrounded by one Na plus, another Na plus two, three, four, five, and six. So you can see here, this ions. What I am talking about is ionic compound. Sodium chloride is an ionic compound. Now you can see here in this one ionic compound, when it dissolve into the solution, the ions are dissolvable. A good सोच नहीं सकते हो एक नमक के दाना का एक स्ट्रक्चर है, एक सॉल्ट जो हमारा नमक होता है जिसको बुझाते हैं हम लोग मिट्टू बोलते हैं, तो वो एक कण जो लोग एक पार्टिकल ऑफ़ द सॉल्ट, उसका जब आप माइक्रोस्कोप से देखोगे, टेलीस्कोप से देखो इट इज द स्ट्रक्चर लेकिन जैसे उसको पानी में आप बोलते हो तो इनका स्ट्रक्चर जो होता है वो डिसऑर्डर हो जाता है मतलब दे डिस्प्लेस मतलब उनका जगह इधर उधर हो जाता है अब जो है जैसे आपने पानी के अंदर में दिया तो ये जितने भी आयंस हैं ऑल दीज आय आर फ्री टू मूव नाउ दे कैन मूव इन टू द होल सोल्यूशन दे आर फ्री टू मूव एंड इफ दे आर फ्री टू मूव नाउ द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस आयन मतलब इनका जो हाइड्रेशन होने वाला है पानी के साथ जो ये घुलने वाले हैं तो आपको पता है कि वो कैसा डायग्राम बनेगा हाउ दिस प्रोसेस विल बी है तो यहाँ पर मैं आपको एक रिएक्शन दे रहा हूँ जस्ट सपोज कि मान लो ये ए और बी हमारा सोडियम क्लोराइड था बराबर सोडियम क्लोराइड हमारा इस तरह से टूटेगा एन और सी में बराबर लेकिन आपको ये चीज पहले समझना होगा दैट हाउ दिस इन ऑफ सोल्यूशन तुरंत ही नहीं होता है मतलब इसको जो सेवरल स्टेप्स में जो मैं दिखाया हूँ आपको यहाँ पे दो स्टेप में आपको दिखा डायरेक्टली एक आयनिक कंपाउंड लिया उसको हमने डायरेक्टली यहाँ पर इंथेरेपी ऑफ सॉल्यूशन दिखाया और एन ए प्लस और सी एल माइनस या ए प्लस और सी मतलब एक एक्वा सॉल्यूशन में है सिंस दे बोथ आर एक्वा सॉल्यूशन तो दैट्स वाई यू कैन सी हियर ए प्लस एंड बी माइनस एन ए प्लस और सी एल माइनस बट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट इफ देट इज लैडिस कंपाउंड देन इन दिस लैडिस कंपाउंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दे विल चेंज इन द गैसियस स्टेट पहले सोडियम क्लोराइड सोडियम कैसियस स्टेट में जाकर के सोडियम कैटाइन बनेगा क्लोरीन विल गो इन टू द गैसियस स्टेट एंड देन इट विल डिसोसिएट इन टू क्लोराइड माइनस आइन एंड देन आफ्टर द हाइड्रेशन दे विल कन्वर्ट इन टू द सोडियम प्लस एक्वस एंड देन सी एल माइनस एक्वस मतलब ये आपको एक जनरल सा रिएक्शन में मिल गया था सोडियम क्लोराइड इट डिसोसिएट इन टू सोडियम प्लस एंड क्लोराइड मतलब राइट You know very well. This is your reaction, and here I have directly written that this is nothing else. In that your solution, okay? But in this first of all, this sodium chloride, since it is a lattice compound, it is a, having a lattice structure, crystalline structure. So this will first of all, this kind of lattice in that the whole thing will break down into the sodium gaseous ion and chloride gaseous ion. But these two are before this. Gaseous state will change. After gaseous state, then they will convert into this aqueous state of sodium. मतलब तुरंत ही वो जो है मतलब आप ये सोचोगे कि one step reaction है उसको. So things are same. Just वो हैस लो वाली आप बातें याद रखना है कि कितने steps में जाता है कि वो convert होते हैं. So here there is one more that delta enthalpy of solution is equal to Enthalpy of hydration and enthalpy of lattice. ये word याद रखना है तुम लोगों को कि enthalpy कभी भी अगर इस type का reaction पूछे या इस type का question आपको बनाने के लिए दें तो you have to just remember that enthalpy of solution, enthalpy of solution is equal to enthalpy of lattice, enthalpy of lattice plus enthalpy of hydration plus enthalpy of Hydration. Remember the word. Hydration is equal to enthalpy of solution. ये word याद रख लेना है आप लोगों को. ये क्या है? The enthalpy of solution जो है हमारा, that is enthalpy of lattice plus enthalpy of 
हाइड्रेट तो इफ यू आर रिमेम्बरिंग दिस वर्ड ना दैट इज वेरी इजी देखो किसी भी चीज को तुरंत नहीं समझ में आना उसको जब आप रिएक्शन करो खुद सोचो घर को जब हम लोग प्लास्टर करते हैं तो चूना जो हम लोग डालते हैं तो चूने को जब आप पानी में देते हो ना तो एक्जोथर्मिक रिएक्शन होता है उसमें से देखना जो एकदम एकदम बॉइल टाइप का एकदम गर्म गर्म हवा निकलेगा दैट इज नथिंग एल्स कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड जब आप रिएक्शन को जब तोड़ती हो ना तो उस समय आपको पता चलता है वो इज द बॉन्ड डिसोशिएशन इन ट्रैक्ट आप एक काम करना वोट यू हैव डू यू जस्ट टेक शुगर क्रिस्टल्स वोट इन टू द वाटर कुछ मत करना नॉर्मल वाटर लेना नॉर्मल वाटर हाँ आई एम टेलिंग अबाउट यू नॉर्मल वाटर पुट सम शुगर क्रिस्टल नो नीड टू स्टीम नो नीड टू स्टीम कुछ देर तुम लगभग 10 से 15 मिनट उसको छोड़ दो ठीक है फिफ्टीन मिनट नाउ दे आर नॉट सोल्यूशन वाई आई एम टेलिंग यू आफ्टर देन जस्ट टच दैट क्लास यू विल फील कूल क्या हुआ क्या कभी सोचा तुम इंडोथर्मिक रिएक्शन हाउ दिज एक्जो एंड इंडोथर्मिक रिएक्शन अकर्स कैसे हाउ इज पॉसिबल दैट वॉट आई एम सींग यू हियर द इंटायरिटी ऑफ सोल्यूशन इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द लैटेस्ट इंटायरिटी एंड देन एक्वस इंटायरिटी हाइड्रेशन इंटायरिटी तब चक्कर की ये वापस तुमको लगेगा कि नाउ इट इज सुगर सोल्यूशन गॉट इट सो हियर सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स आर गिवेन इन योर टेक्सट बुक यू कैन गो थ्रू इट फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द आनिक कंपाउंड the enthalpy of solution is positive and the dissociation process is endothermic remember here the fact it's a solution in the solution it will be endothermic only so most of the process you will get the value of this enthalpy of solution will be positive and uh, here since it is endothermic reactions therefore all the solubility of most salt in the water increases with the rise in temperature if the lattice enthalpy is very high then that the solution of compound may not take place at all why do many fluorides tend to be less soluble in the corresponding chloride estimate the magnitudes of the enthalpy changes may be using tables of bond enthalpies and the lattice enthalpy to bahut sare aise compound hai jo iske chlorides hai fluorides mein nahi dissolve honge uske piche hai ki unka bond dissociation enthalpy high hai jo inka enthalpy of solution hai that is very high it is not comparable to dissolve in those compounds whose bond enthalpy or bond dissociation enthalpy or enthalpy of solution is low definitely aap kisi bhi cheez ko turant just suppose no sabse pehle to main ek cheez aapko bata dena chahta hu aapne kabhi socha hai ki namak melt hota hai ki nahi hota ki dissolve hota hai थॉट आपकी मम्मा जब सब्जी बनाती है कोई भी चीज जिसमें सॉल्ट पड़ जाए तो क्या वो सॉल्ट डिजोल्व होता है कि मैट होता है एक काम करना एक दिन तुम सीधे कोई बर्तन में थोड़ा नमक लेना और उसको हीट करना जितना वो नमक मेल्ट करता है कि या सॉल्यूशन बन जाता है डोंट डू बट आई एम टेलिंग यू द राइट आंसर इट इज ना जल्दी नहीं है जो मेल्ट हो जाए बट डिजॉल्व हो जाता है घुल जाता है मिल जाता है मेल्ट नहीं होता है मेल्टिंग इज अनदर थिंग यू नो वेरी वेल वॉट इज मेल्टिंग पॉइंट एंड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट सो सिमिलरली वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू से सम ऑफ द सोल्यूशन डू नॉट डिजॉल्व द हाई इन थर्पी ऑफ सोल्यूशन बहुत सारी ऐसी चीजें हैं जिसमें वो इंथर्व नहीं करती है अगर इसी की मैं बात करूँ तो पूरा सोडियम क्लोराइड का जो याद होगा आप लोगों को बॉन्ड इन थर्पी डिसोशिएशन हमें निकाला भी था इवन लैटिस स्ट्रक्चर इसका निकाला था केमिकल बॉन्डिंग में दैट वैल्यू वॉज सेवन हंड्रेड एंड एटी एट किलो जूल पर वन जिसमें लैट इज एनर्जी था अगर बॉन्ड हैबर साइकिल आप लोगों को याद होगा जो केमिकल बॉन्डिंग में हम लोगों ने पढ़ा था अगर आप लोगों को नहीं याद है तो वापस में बना दूंगा उसमें कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है कि हम लोगों को नहीं पढ़ सकते डेफिनेटली हम लोग बना सकते हैं बट रिमेंबर क्या रखना आप लोगों को कि जब भी सोडियम क्लोराइड की अगर मैं बात करूँ तो आपको याद आ जाना चाहिए बॉन्ड हैबर साइकिल क्योंकि आप लोग उस चीज़ को पढ़ा है और बॉन्ड हैबर साइकिल कुछ नहीं है वही सोडियम किस तरह से सोडियम क्लोराइड बनता है उसी का एक एग्जाम्पल है अगर आप एन देखोगे तो डेफिनेटली आपको बॉन्ड हैबर साइकिल याद आ जाएगा अगर नहीं याद आएगा तो नेक्स्ट वीडियो में मैं जरूर इसके बारे में चर्चा करूंगा कि बॉन्ड हैबर साइकिल में किस तरह देखो मैंने वही चीज किया है अगर आप लोग इसी एग्जाम्पल को सोडियम क्लोराइड के तहत ले लो तो आपका बॉन्ड हैबर साइकिल पूरा कंप्लीट प्रोसेस है जिसमें वही है कि पहले 
सॉलिड स्टेट से उसको गैस स्टेट जाने में लैट इज एनर्जी कितना लगा लैट इज एनर्जी के बाद हाइड्रेशन एनर्जी कितना लगा दोनों को ऐड किया तो टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ इंथेल्पी कितना लगा इंथेल्पी ऑफ सॉल्यूशन कितना लगा वही सारी चीज़ें नेक्स्ट वीडियो में मैं इसके बारे में जरूर बताऊँगा वॉट इज बॉन्ड हैबर साइकिल और उसके बाद हमारा दो टॉपिक बाकी रहेगा जो इसके बाद नेक्स्ट टॉपिक है हमारा इंथेल्पी लेट इज इंथेल्पी और उसके बाद स्पॉन्टेनिटी जिसमें हम लोग गिफ्ट फ्री एनर्जी पढ़ेंगे ये बहुत ही इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक होगा स्पॉन्टेनिटी जिसके बारे में काफ़ी जानकारी हमें लेना है और हम लोग सीखेंगे वेन एवर यू आर लर्निंग समथिंग ना यू मस्ट हैव अ पैशन कुछ सीखने की जिज्ञासा होनी चाहिए या समथिंग वी आर लर्निंग विच इज ऑलरेडी वी आर यूजिंग इन अवर डेली लाइफ जो सब लोगों को पता नहीं है आपको पता हो रहा है एंड यू विल मीन्स गेट अ गुड सक्सेस वेन एवर यू डिजर्व समथिंग मतलब आपको कुछ ऐसा लगेगा नहीं अब मुझे आ रहा है नॉलेज केमिस्ट्री में मैं सीख रहा हूँ जो केमिस्ट्री मुझे बहुत भारी लग रहा था नाउ इट्स वेरी ईजी राइट सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट दिस इन थेरेपी ऑफ सॉल्यूशन अगर आप लोगों को कोई भी दिक्कत हो कि नहीं सर मैं ये नहीं समझा मैं वो नहीं समझा दैन यू कैन ड्रॉप इट आउट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स एक्शन आज के लिए बस इतना ही होप ऑल ऑफ यू एंजॉय दिस वीडियो अगर आप लोगों को ये वीडियो अच्छा लगा होगा तो लाइक और सब्सक्राइब करें अपने दोस्तों के साथ शेयर भी करें दैट दे कैन बी ऑल्सो बेनिफिट दैट्स ऑफ थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच एंजॉय योर लाइफ